Okay, welcome back again. I'm going to continue on where I left off about uh, traps and, and their frequency response. And uh, going on from the limp membrane trap, we go to a, uh, a regular, say you put regular traps on your wall, broadband traps. Let's, let's, uh, th let's talk about how well they respond frequency response wise. Um, back one point on the um, on the membrane traps, we've got basically uh, two inches of absorption on the fronts of the. Now, if you look at uh, how effective two inches is directly on zero degree incidence uh, over here, I'll show you on my Excel spreadsheet. We've got this. All right, let's go to if you you get my uh, Excel. Uh, Let's see, what, what do I call it? Reflections, Boundaries, and Mass spreadsheet from my resources page. Guys, go to my resources page and download everything. And take your time, go through it, and uh, occasionally look, up, look for updates because I do update and put new stuff on there. Anyway, on this Reflections, Boundaries, Mass spreadsheet, go to the, the Trap, Depths, and Related Calcs. If you look here, uh, for instance, what a two-inch trap right here, will will at zero degree incidence will work down to 1.6 kilohertz it's not very low and so you you really don't have a two inch trap then call it a base trap and definitely not in the base range so if you, if you go to four inch uh that'll work down to 847 hertz let's go to eight eight inch it works down to 423 hertz so i mean what you know what are we going to do <laughs> well the thing is if you like if you put the thinner traps on your walls it's fine you have a glancing angle from your speakers comes out and it hits the you know the wave or rays hit the hit the traps at a glancing angle and they go through it diagonally so therefore the travel through the trapping material will absorb a lot and then it hits off, hits the wall, and bounces off, and gets absorbed on its way out. It, it usually never comes out. <laughs> they go in, but they don't come out. <laughs> That's the idea. Um, let's see now. Let's get, let's go on to um, let's say a 12 inch trap. Wow, that's almost in the base range. Almost. So if you got a trap on your back wall, and it's it's only 12 inches deep. You can trap down to 282 hertz. That's why we say you need membranes. Now, if you've got a, if you have a 16 inch trap, whoops, wrong button. If you have a 16 inch trap, wow, it's down to 2 and 11 hertz. Now, we're talking about zero degree incidence, not a glancing angle, but on your back wall right behind you. Your speakers are pointing at you, they're crossing, and they hit the wall pretty straight. So if you're just trusting in broadband to take care of that rear wall bounce, you're not going to get a lot out of it. And that's why when you look at your RT60, it goes from high end to low and then it just starts climbing. That's what will happen. Now if you have thin walls, if you have very thin uh, gypsum board walls, it's going to go right on out it's not a not a problem there so anyway I got that two inch layer on that on the membrane traps that gets me down to 1.6 K so I don't have any uh, 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 dis distracting reflections from back there so we're good anyway so um, gosh I've already gone about almost nine minutes on this one and I got to keep it under 10 <laughs> so uh, anyway, if you if you have a look over here again, we've got broadband traps here. These are typical broadband traps. They have a, a, a thin layer of rigid on the front and full, fill, filled with fluffy stuff. And if you look at the charts, it actually really performs down to where the quarter wave says it will. And you try different formulations with heavier stuff on the front or, or all full fill with heavy stuff it it just doesn't perform as well and can, and really is often very reflective at, at much depth so i'm gonna continue this on the next one and uh let's talk again soon i'll uh subscribe and i'll